You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. All right, there's breaking news overnight. A startling new twist in the Donald Sterling story this morning. The Van Clippers owner may not have much longer to live. The 80-year-old Sterling is expected to fight his lifetime ban by the National Basketball Association, but he may not have time. In fact, one source tells the New York Post that associates thought Sterling would die from prostate cancer two years ago. The league so punished Sterling earlier this week for racist comments he made that were recorded and made public. It's now up to the other league owners whether he has to sell the Clippers. Celebrities who have expressed interest in buying all or part of the team include Oprah Winfrey, Sean Combs, and Oracle CEO Larry Ellison. But Sterling's estranged wife, Shelley, may be the frontrunner to be the next owner, even though she, too, has been accused of racism and discrimination. Shelley Sterling missed last night's game, but she's often courtside. However, an NBA official says the players and league are looking for a complete change in ownership. In another twist, the president of the Los Angeles chapter of the NAACP is resigning in the wake of plans to honor Sterling as a humanitarian. This would have been the second time Leon Jenkins and the L.A. chapter had honored Sterling. They did so five years ago while Sterling was fighting federal housing discrimination charges. Jenkins admits the decision to honor Sterling this year has brought the organization, quote, negative exposure. The New York Post also says this morning that Sterling has fled his home in Malibu for a Beverly Hills penthouse, paranoid that the mansion might be bugged. Much more about the team's performance on the court coming up from ESPN.